everyone doing today? This is Brent from Adventure Time RC, and uh, today I decided to do a little instruction video on how to make your own burnt wood bed for your RC truck. I wanted to add a little more detail to 53 Chevy here, so I made this little burnt wood bed and figured I'd show everybody how to do that. Well, the first thing you're going to need is, a, I use popsicle sticks for this, and a little hacksaw. And a razor blade would be the first things you need. All I do is I'll lay one popsicle stick down. And I'd go through and make my measurements first. And I'll put a second one on top of it. With just a little saw there. Take off the uh, little round tip. A little hacksaw works great for this. Uh, you can use a razor blade too, but going crossways like this against the grain, I found a little saw works better. I'll give you a nice little flat spot there. Let me do the other end. Now I like the popsicle sticks over the balsa wood just because uh, balsa wood dents so easily. I'm usually kind of rough on things, so. Now well, we have that out of the way, so you got your two ends off, so you got a nice flat board. Move that. All right, after that, you would want to take, and the way I did mine, I set it down in between the, the spots where I wanted to cut. I want it to go there. I just make a little tiny impression. It doesn't take much. You can see it pretty easily. Just a little tiny nick. And you can use uh, any kind of straight edge, but I just used another popsicle stick when I did it. Kind of eyeballed it. And I just do a light score. Now with this, uh, these popsicle sticks, if you're going lengthways like this, they actually cut pretty easily. But just take your time and make a couple passes. That way you're not trying to force it. And it'll pop right off for you. Well, after you've completed that, I got a little file. And you got your little rough edges there, so I just filed them down a little bit real quick and easy. Doesn't take much. You got a nice little piece of wood. Okay, so after you've trimmed out your piece and you've sanded it down, I like to make uh, the burnt wood pattern on mine. So all I'll do is I'll take my little torch. Start burning it up a little bit. Okay, so after having my burnt pattern... that down there. I use this uh, red oak wood satin stain and they make some of this with the polyurethane mixed into it but this one's not. This is just regular satin stain. And a uh, little regular little paintbrush. Give that a good coating.
All right. Hey, see, after you give it a nice, nice coating, you can, you can see the darker spots where you'd burn it. I really like that effect. I clean my brushes. This is just regular paint thinner. And it does a pretty good job of cleaning the brushes and keeping them soft. All right. Now I have your brush cleaned. This takes about a, a half hour to dry for a little piece like this. Uh, I usually set it in front of a fan or a heater. It helps the drying process out quite a bit. And then after I finish that, uh, there's a several different ways you could finish this off. Uh, you could use polyurethane or you know brush, a brush on clear lacquer or anything. Uh, I use this, just Rust-Oleum Matte Clear. And this works pretty good for me. And I give it a, you know, a couple good sprays. And then I'll take my shoe goo, and you can use any flexible glue, any of the goops, welder's glue, E6000. You want something to, that's going to remain flexible because that body does flex. Then I would open it up. Use another little popsicle stick. Just get out a little, little dab of it. All right, I'll piece over here. It's been drying a little longer. And then you would start. Just drag it down through there. So you got nice, really thin coating. You don't want much on this stuff. Then you go down your ends. You don't have any overhang. Then you would repeat this process on the other side of the wood. You get the point. Then afterwards, you, you find your area, set her down into here. Well, when you're all finished up, your bed should end up looking about like this. Oh, thanks a lot, everyone. I appreciate you watching. And uh, I hope for this showed you how to make your own little burnt wood bed for your, for your RC trucks, trailers. There are several different applications you could use this for. But all right, everyone, if you like this, uh, share, subscribe, uh, like, hit me that thumbs up would be appreciated. And everybody have a great day.